welcome again guys to my channel the part and channel is secure seven let's we explore the indirect of direct object reference labs here in hectify cyber security go to the lab here give me my amount to so go here lab and uh, here you can see it's a uh, lab one and uh, here is some diagram is here which is a uh, get my document with number 101 please and here is the request is of course get my document number uh, number is 103 please and hey don't have not mention it okay so here it's trying to getting bypass the id parameters of uh, like uh, i have uh, id 1 and another have id 2 so i have access the number 2 id or also i have access to number 2 id so uh, this is the like hydro tag so let's get uh, starting with the hydro lab here and here is you can see here some login page here which is a bank user login here so let's get started with the register page here is the register page which is we have a type xyz at the red gmail.com and we always use password xyz123 and here is the xyz123 password and just you log in the password here register okay first we register here so register here and that will be redirect to the login page okay so it will be redirect to the login page here is I put the X, Y, Z, one, two, three here. Okay. So now let's log in into the account here. And there will be redirect to the user profile. So here is some email here and card details here, transaction here, transaction two, transaction three. Here you can see it's uh, defined the ID here, which we change the ID into 284 and 285 here. Hit enter and uh, trying to what we get in here. And you can see here is the abc at the red gmail.com email and there is a credit card transaction is here second transaction is here now we're trying to again access the one 186 id and there is a p at the red gmail.com and there is a transactions are here it will be a either attack which is a uh, we access the informations without any restrictions and without any user and passwords we see uh, we see the all the information of other user so this lab is solved lab one is sold of either attack either attack oh sorry the pronunciations our next lab is attack is stop open in a new camp stop uh polluting my params okay so this is our next lab and same informations about the uh, either
and here is the uh, in the first level here we have the bank user login page and here is the login page first we register this login here okay there will be a register page opening here here you can see edit some first name and last name here so we put the xyz tab abc here tab xyz at the regime.com xyz123 tab xyz123 okay all the information is here let's we login into the page and it's your okay xyz xyz one two three here and login into this page now here you can see here, here is the user profile username my uh, first name and last name let's try to access another user's page which is uh, 108 is our users id and let's try to access others id which is 1209 here you can see it is a uh, uh, we will see the others password here you can see now changes this and uh, trying to 105 here hit enter and here you can see hello at the red hacker dot org hello hello world so now solve and next jump in into the lab three starting this lab here okay so there is a uh, some field here which we i forgot about this here okay so go to the labs here first uh, this is the second lab so now we have trying here which is xyz render login into the page okay so there will be our data here so now you can see here uh, we put i1010 here hit enter and there will be a momos account okay so i i have which is a CQ7 here, and now we update this account. But this is a returning this here is the first name cannot be changed. So we return the our user, which is a 208. It uh, okay, so there is will be a 2098 okay so now uh, here we can change here our first name this it is seven here and trying to update here okay it will be not updated okay so this was a mistake but this okay now here is lab is three And now here, uh, like uh, we have the username and password here, X, Y, Z, one, two, three, enter. Log into the user here. Log into the user here. You can see we are not logging. So now we register the user here. Okay, so there is a server problem here, which we have. Okay, so it's working now. So there is a XYZ tab ABC here. Our username is we set the username XYZ123 XYZ at the gmail.com. Password we have a 12345. 12345. There is a second password and confirm password is here. So I did an into small page here. Okay. So here we register this here. Register all the details.
that will be redirected to the login page. Now we login into the here one, two, three, four, five, and login here. And it will be showing us two user profiles here, but there is a nothing parameters here, which is ID like uh, there is some parameters. We change the parameters. So now let's we change the password here. This function is here to so use this function and check it out. What are in the change the password? Here you can see uh, there is a parameter here. So here is the username, okay? That will be I am a XYZ123 user. So I will be change my password. So there is an a Momo. Momo is user. So trying to in the Momo. Okay, so there is not uh, we trying to ABC here. Is not user. And there is a ABC is a user here in the database. ABC one of the user in the database. So let's try to change this password. And I I, I put the passwords and change it here. And there will be password is change and redirect to the login page. So we're trying to ABC at the red email mail.com and put the password which is CQ7. And login, just login. And you see, I have made the profile of XYZ and I am in the ABC account. So I will be changed the password of any users in database. So this is the idle vulnerability. So this lab is solved. Compared to the our next lab, which is change your methods. The lab four and starting this lab here. And here is the again user login here and go to the register page here. And trying to register again myself, which is XYZ, ABC, XYZ again, email.com. There is a password which is XYZ. 12345, 12345. Enter and register this again. This information sent to the database and redirect, redirect to the login page. And XYZ one two three four five and login. And now we see how we call this lab here. It's a there is a no username here, no first name here, and no last name here. So let's uh, here you can see there is an ID parameter is here. So in the back end. My new ID is 1044. So now let's change this ID into 4445. Okay, so there will be a like nothing here. So not showing the usernames, first name, and last name of any users. So I can change the 1045 and okay, so. We have a 1044 here is our ID. Okay, so let's uh, 
trying to update the making some another user go to the register page again and making the another user which is uh, like pk uh, 7 here and last name is your 7 and there will be email v a b c at the red gmail.com here and type the password is one two three four five then passwords and take it registrations of the email and there is a no username here you can see okay last okay there will be our melody is a b c here and password is one two three four five and let's log in into the page okay so there is a new id which is one two five five here okay so now we're trying to uh, access one zero four four here and enter and we trying to here username change with uh, using like uwe at the red gmail .com here and first name we trying to abc tap abc here and updated this profile And there will be a possible i change the and update the profile of xyz so i will be twe and at the gmail.com and password is we have set the one two three four five and let's now login into the here what we see here that is a not login and we see that we change the passwords of like others not a passwords and uh, others details which is a username and first name and last name changes of other users so there will be a either attack of the left so th that's it and thanks for watching this video and like share and subscribe this video now we'll be back with the new labs in next week so thanks for watching. Bye-bye.